All right, in this video, I want to clarify carbs from sugar. Uh, do you just avoid carbs? Do you worry about sugar on keto? It's a little confusing. All right, so when we do keto, we're talking about net carbs, not total carbs. What are net carbs? Basically, take the total and minus the fiber, okay? Now, fiber is carbohydrate, but it doesn't have any response on insulin. So this is why we deduct the fiber, because it's not going to raise the insulin. The less fiber we have, the more that carbohydrate is going to spike blood sugars, okay? And it's then it's going to raise insulin. So we're always focusing on the net carb and making sure it's between 20 and 50 grams or less, okay? So with keto, you don't want to go above 50 grams. If you have a slow metabolism and you want to lose more weight, just go down this way, cut the carbs even more. But we're operating off of net carbs, not total carbs. You don't want to count or even have vegetables in your equation at all, okay? And I'm talking about leafy greens and other vegetables. I'm not talking about like tomatoes, carrots, beets, which have a lot of fiber, but they also have more sugar. So you may want to count those in your equation. But as far as most like salads, Brussels sprouts, kale, you do not need to count that. In fact, we want you to eat more of that food because of the, the minerals and some of the vitamins like vitamin C. You also need to understand about the glycemic index. That is the index of all the carbohydrates and how carbohydrates influence your blood sugars. Things that have less fiber, more sugar, spike the blood sugars faster, so it's going to be higher on the glycemic index, okay? Foods very high in fiber but low in sugar are going to have hardly any effect in the glycemic index. Let's take celery, for example. It might be high in carbs, but it's mostly all fiber and no sugar. So it's going to be extremely low on the glycemic index. So fiber buffers the sugar response. Now let's take, for example, a potato. One potato. It has 37 grams of carbs. Uh, but it has some fiber, 4.7 grams. So then we get a net of 32.3 uh, carbs, okay? So that's, that's pretty high, all right? Not a lot of fiber, but look at this. The sugar is low. So we do want to look at the sugar and use judgment, but other foods might be higher in sugar. But it all really depends on the fiber and also the type of food and the glycemic index. You have to kind of think of all three of these variables. Because we're talking about a raw potato, as soon as you cook it, or fry it, or bake it, the sugar goes straight up and vertical. This is why potato chips, french fries, are very high on the glycemic index, because those carbohydrates are broken down into the simple sugars, okay? So that's what we're trying to avoid, the foods that spike the sugar very fast. Let's take bread, for example. One slice of bread has 12 grams of carbs, 1.9 uh, fiber, giving us a net carb of 10.1, okay? Sugar is 1.6. But realize we're just talking about one slice, okay? So this is just, this is pretty high. The problem with bread is not only is this high on the glycemic index, but the specific fiber in grains has phytic acid. And phytic acid depletes certain minerals, definitely zinc. So it can create a lot of problems from that alone, not to mention the glycemic effect and how fast it breaks down in the sugar and also the gluten in there, which a lot of people are sensitive to. So on a keto plan, we don't recommend grain or grain fiber for that reason. You wanna get your fiber from vegetables, okay? You don't wanna do starches or rice, for example. Now, what about fruit, okay? Well, you have an apple, which is 25 grams of carb, 4.4 fiber, giving us a net carb of 20.6, okay? Pretty high. But look at the sugars, 19 grams of sugar. This is like eating a candy bar. And let me give you a real live example. Several years ago, I was consuming apples as a snack between lunch and dinner and apples as a snack in the evening with my peanut butter. And I had a lot of apples. 
and I was at 211 pounds. I'm at 180, and all I really did was cut out these, these snacks of apple and peanut butter. So apples will definitely keep you from getting into ketosis. Now berries are much better because they're less sweet than fruit, they have higher fiber than fruit, and they're lower on the glycemic index. One last point about a potato. If you were to consume a raw potato, okay, with this low sugar right here, you'd probably be totally fine. So you can go ahead and have a raw potato. But of course, the pleasure from a raw potato is not very high. So anyway, I wanted you to think with the variables. You have to think with the fiber, think with the net carbs, think with the glycemic index. I'll put a video down below to give you a little more reality on more on what this is. And I also want to mention one last thing, and that has to do with what's called the insulin index. If you haven't heard about that, I put a video down below. You can check it out. But that would be all the foods that are non-carbohydrate and how those affect your insulin level. All right. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now, and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.